Hai, nama saya Naha. Nama saya Zaman Rakim. Oh, my name is Muhammad Nazran. Nama saya Mai. Daniel Rostam. First favorite scene definitely definitely is bila kita buat yang scene jenazah. <laughs> okay. Jenazah punya scene was very very uh, I think well, to me lah well established lah. I don't know why lah. But I think the shots and the the feel the moments definitely bila kita tengok dia langkah kaki is already something wow. Malam tahlil. Yang ada baca surah yasin yasin. Because it pulls out and then it cuts to uh, Maya zoning out. So I feel like the the flow of that scene is really beautiful lah, honestly. For me, the best scene eh, surprisingly is uh, yang mana si... Apa eh, namanya tu? <laughs> uh, Maya, Maya. Uh, Maya suddenly rose up from the dead. I think my favourite scene was the Yasin scene when... Eh, is it the Yasin? When I put the buku Yasin and then I woke up to start. <laughs> okay, okay, hear me out. So, why is it my favorite scene? It's not because I'm inside it. It's because, uh, yeah, it's also my first time actually being a co-main. So it's like really weird for me and awkward. But for that scene, we actually we actually shot it like one time, you know. Okay, one of my favorite scenes in Dam Cita ni is when uh, Hanisa kena kacau. You see all the, the, the horror stuff. I find that macam very unique ah, out of all the other scenes. So kalau korang interested, you're curious about it, you know, korang boleh tengok lah. Kalau aku bilang, then tak fun lah, betul lah. Ah, favourite cast ah. I think it has been Hanzola for me lah. Cast, no doubt, it's Hanzola. I would say Hanzola. The Ustad lah, uh, which is Hans. My favourite cast for this uh, film, I saw very hard to to pile lah, but then my I think the best one for me would be Shazwani ah, uh, what that is Maya. Because in this theater, I actually I'm very particular in choosing the ustad. For that, we already have a really good chemistry, the best uh, intonation, like how he expresses his emotion is just chef kisses. For me personally, I think his watak is so difficult to handle which I can say I'm proud of Hans to carry that water. I would say her role is not easy because most of the time she tak bobal. So your, your expression plays a part. So I do think she really did a good job for this production. So it's like... <laughs> yes, person the cast in real life. Um... I would say Naha. Like wherever he goes, he just sticks with him and the laugh. Ah. Wherever he goes, even though he doesn't do anything much, he's just a laughing oh, a, a laughing thing, ah, a laughing matter ah, okay, around. I think Zaman. Zaman is, will be the funniest one, I guess. And, uh, he broke some stuff for the gaffer. <laughs> and like Mitch, not even shooting anything, he's not even uh, inside. Like, he's not even acting, he's just helping me out. Like, once he helped out, the bulbs broke, that broke, and it was just funny uh, to me. Sometimes his comments are just unnecessary, uh, unnecessary, but at the same time, it lightens up the mood. Sad. Yeah. Like, he would just say the stupidest thing also. Uh, but it's funny lah. Yeah. Aku risk aku tengok Maya. Aku tengok tengok kan dia lah. Lisa, I've been calling you since just now. I'll just really call balik. Urgent kata dia. Maya ke? Aku miss kau tau tengok Maya. Lepas satu-satu jadi. Apa eh punca semua ni? Aku rasa ada benda tak kena buat. Aku masih sangat ni. Itu yang kau nak kan? If you guys haven't watched uh, Kakak Seku 2, do watch it in YouTube. Uh, it's at 3 a.m. films. Um, if you haven't watched the part 1, if you want to know the other backstory, do watch. But I would highly recommend uh, to watch part 2 since uh, it's interesting concept and genre. So please do watch it.